So welcome back, I'm Victor from Green Aqua and this is a short review of the current LED lights what we have in our showroom. The reason why I did this because very hard to compare each one regarding the colors and also the light intensity. Color is, is probably a personal taste. The lighting intensity is a different story but we are using usually very high light. The reference aquarium was grown under the solar RGB for the last three months so we use this as a reference point uh, when we compare to the other lights. It says 130 watt power which is the most powerful. The lumen intensity is around 3000-3500. If I'm uh, skipping through the different uh, kind of shots one of them is uh, probably stronger on the intensity, one of them is weaker. I use the same kind of settings on my camera the 1 50th of the second and the aperture is uh, 6.3, ISO is 400 and use the same white balance. The first light in this category is the AquaSky G LED which is the latest AquaSky from ADA and this is kind of a green version of the AquaSky. As you can see on the reference shot from the previous model they changed the LED light to highlight better the green tones here. This light is a 30 watt uh, light with 1800 and 2100 lumen. So here on the on the side by side uh, shot the green looks good. Not as good in my preference as this raw RGB but some people find it uh, really cold. So the green is, is kind of a warm green here. The red, the Rotara HRA is, is an orange tone here. Anubias looks great uh, off the screen has a kit bit of a yellowish tone in it. Alright, next one is the Aqua Sky Moon. It's not a new light but it was a stronger uh, light after the normal Aqua Sky unit. It's 1.5 stronger than the original one. It's a 50 watt uh, lighting unit, 4200 uh, lumen uh, lighting power. It's really a powerful light for almost all purposes. Uh, so how the, the color tones uh, looks like? It was a previous model to the Aqua Sky G, so here you will see more kind of yellowish color in the carpet and green plants. You also will see more yellow on the on the wood part and on the other plants. It's much more significant so the largest difference between the, the lights. A so, so RGB is more like a, a, a bluish color and this is more like a, a yellowish uh, side on, on the color tone but you can see the difference. Okay and the latest one is the Twinstar latest light the 600S. It's a really powerful lighting unit. It's uh, 45 watts and uh, 3100 uh, lumen on the lighting side. It highlights a lot the, uh, the reddish colors as you will see on the compression shot. It's also uh, one of the widest uh, lighting units so it, it, uh, it covers more area on the small aquarium. On the close-up shot you can see that green is of course is different. We've seen kind of less yellow, I would say more brownish, more red uh, in overall with the, with the twin star. I find it the same in our showroom that uh, more more brownish colors even in the carpeting plants. We've seen this on Ricardi Moss. But because your eye is just adopting so quickly to these lights, it's really hard to compare in real life situations. Okay, so the four light next to each other on one screen. As you can see, here is much more significant the, the difference between each other. So on the top left is the Sora RGB and the and the Aqua Sky G, Aqua Sky Moon and the Twin Star Light in the right hand uh, bottom uh, corner. I hope you find the quick uh, review useful. Both of these lights are capable to grow almost anything in an aquarium. So this, of course, this require CO2 and good uh, care to have the healthiest aquariums at home. All right. Thank you guys for your attention and see you in our next video.